Amid the protests on Atlantic Avenue last night, a truck was seen driving through the crowd. That driver tells his side of the story only to 10 on your side's Andy Fox. Yeah, Regina, here's the bottom line. They are still cleaning up after last night's chaos. And as you said, Manny, who was in the red pickup truck driving, we interviewed him earlier today, late this afternoon. We found out that police would like to talk to him. In this video from Chopper 10, you can clearly see what appears to be a protester standing in the front of this red pickup truck. We showed the video to the driver of the pickup named Manny, who on social media is accused of trying to run over protesters. He denies that. If I went to a protest or run over people like they say I did, why wouldn't I run over the lady standing in front of my truck, pushing against my truck? It is also clear one of the protesters is striking Manny with a stick-like object, and he has the wound as proof of that. I was creeping forward. I wasn't going to stop because we were getting attacked. We were getting, I mean, look at my arm. We were getting attacked, hitting with boards. They literally knocked my dog out. They hit, her, hit my fiance in the head with a glass bottle. We asked Manny if he's a racist that is also stated on social media. Turns out his mother is African American. If anything was happening, I can't I can't be a racist. I'm literally mixed. I'm black and Mexican. My, my adopted parents are black. What is true, Manny was supportive of police and told them so every time he saw an officer while he was walking. I was flying American flags. You guys, everyone wants to stand for what they represent. I was standing for what I represent. Patriotism. Your calls may not be exactly my calls, but I stand for unity in one. That, that does not unity in one. I support Black Lives Matter, but I do not support the violence. Protest organizers told us Manny was revving his loud truck to intimidate and he should not have been in the middle of the protest. And we now know Virginia Beach police are looking to talk to him. Leave. Were you looking for trouble? No, sir. I was trying to leave. The police told me to go one way and by the time I got there, all the protesters were there. I stopped behind a police car and he told me to go, just go, get out. And that's what I was doing. And my goal was never to hit anyone. My goal was never to run anyone over. So it's very interesting that earlier today we interviewed Manny and then it was interesting to find out that late this afternoon police would actually like to speak with him. There's a lot of moving parts to this and it continues to develop and we will keep you updated on anything that develops on this story involving Manny and the red pickup truck. In Virginia Beach, Andy Fox, 10 on your side.